Little Sauce Tube. Welcome to week five, day one of Fancy Lady February. Today is Monday, February 27th, so we are milking this fifth week a little bit. It will be March when we end, but there's still a couple of more days left in February, so I wanted to sneak this last and final week in to get started on our last Fancy Lady. Uh, unfortunately, today is my late night for this week, so there won't be much happening tonight, but hopefully the rest of the week, I'll be able to get quite a bit done to show you who our final designer is. Before we do that, let's, as usual, get started with the beautiful floss colors for this final fancy lady. So here are the really pretty colors we'll be working with. Are those just gorgeous? And of course, the fabric which is a Be Stitch Me fabric, and it was a fabric of the month from the club. I think this might be January's most recent club, and it is a 32 count Lugana, and the color is called Winter Mix. See how pretty this is? And now to find out the design. I'm so excited to start this one. This is Winter Queen, by Shannon Christine Designs. So here we are with our final week of Fancy Lady February. Isn't she stunning? Now I've had this pattern for a little while. I bought it off one, two, three stitch, but I did just the other day go to Shannon Christine Designs webpage and I was able to download the PDF and get that into Patent Keeper. So I'm really excited to have another Patent Keeper friendly design to work on, so we'll see how much I can get done using Patent Keeper. So this had to be a real quick intro because I need to head off to work and I will see you tomorrow morning to see how much I can get done. And remember at the end of all my segments, then Anna will um, pop up and we'll see if she gets a finish on Raven Queen this week. Till tomorrow, bye. Hello Flosstube, and I am back with Day two of week five of Fancy Lady February. So this is the last Fancy Lady that I will be working on this month. And just a reminder, I'm working on Winter Queen from Shannon Christine Designs. And while I do have the paper patent from 123 Stitch, I did go ahead and order the um, PDF from Shannon Christine's website, which I did download into Patent Keeper. And I got a little bit stitched last night. Like I said, it was my late night last night and then my early night, early morning this morning. So I didn't have too, too much stitching time. But this is what I got done. So we are back to Alien Face. You always got to have that Alien Face stage, right? And it is a teeny tiny head. So this pattern is going to be mostly dress. And this is where I am at. Hope to get a bunch of stitching in tonight. I don't have to be anywhere tomorrow. Um, so we'll see. Usually when I'm hoping to get a bunch of stitching in, it means I fall asleep mid-stitch at some point and don't get as much done as I planned on it. But we will see. I will touch base tomorrow morning, which will technically be March 1st, but we're just milking this Fancy Lady February as long as we can. And seeing as Monday was February, we're just going to go for it. So I will see you tomorrow. Bye. And welcome back to day three of week five of Fancy Lady February. Today is actually March 1st, but you know, Monday was February, so we're gonna roll with this week and see how far we get until Friday. Again, I'm working on Winter Queen this week from Shannon Christine Designs. And right now I'm down into the dress a little bit. I finished the face, but I haven't backstitched because again, the one thing I have now learned when kidding up fancy ladies is look for the backstitch color because it's not always up in the color list, which means when you go to backstitch, you don't actually have that thread. So a quick trip to Joanne Fabrics later and I will get some backstitching in. But here is where I am now. So the dress is blending a little bit in this background, but once it's backstitched, it will show up just fine. If you look at the pattern, it is the same color really as, as the background as well. 
but yep, this is where I've gotten to. The face is done with everything except for the back stitching and then the dress. So one thing also to look at is like her lips, that's one and a half stitches. That is the only time that color is used. So if you do something like this, also pay attention to how many stitches are in a color and maybe don't get the called for color and just pull from your stash. I did actually kit a lot of this out of my stash, stash so I didn't have to go buy that, but I probably would not have been happy to buy a strand for two stitches. Also that little bit of purple above her eyes, they called for one color on the left eye and a different purple on the right eye. And I just used the same color. So I looked at the picture and I really didn't like how it looked being two different colors. So we're gonna go with that. Other than that, I did everything exactly the same. I'm gonna start stitching on this. I have the day off. So I'm hoping to get a bunch of stitching into this today. However, it is the first. So Autumn Lane Stitchery is going to drop their Clue 7, I think, tonight. And I will be doing working on Clue 7 later. But we'll see how much we can get into this until that happens. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. And I am back for day four of week five of Fancy Lady February. Today is Thursday, March 2nd. And I'm here to show you what I got done last night on Winter Queen by Shannon Christine Designs. And I got more of the dress done. I wasn't able to get the back stitching done because I didn't have the color, but I did make it to Joann Fabrics, picked up the skein. So the first thing I'm gonna be working on today is back stitching that face. But I filled in a lot of the dress. I started down on the skirt section. And of course, all these holes in here is there's tons of beading in the top portion. And I don't know if you can see up here, I got a little bit of that Krynik in, which in person looks amazing. So this is where I'm at. I hope to get that face back stitched today. And then I don't know if I'm gonna work more on the dress or if I'm gonna complete the arms and the shawl, but the shawl is a lot of white stitching, which isn't really exciting to me. So we'll see what happens after I back stitch and I will see you tomorrow, Friday. So bye. And welcome back to day five of week five of Fancy Lady February. So today will be my last day of stitching on Fancy Ladies for this year. Well, not last day of stitching on Fancy Ladies, but last day of stitching on my Fancy Lady February stitching. And I'm just going to show you what I got accomplished last night. It was a pretty busy night. My son wanted to hang. So we went out and hung out with my son for a little bit. When your son still wants to hang out with you at 23, you don't say no to that. So that took a little bit of my stitchy time. But just a reminder, I am working on Winter Mix Be Stitch Me Fabric. 32 count Lugana. It was one of the Fabric of the Month clubs. So here's that. And I am stitching Winter Queen by Shannon Christine Designs. Here's a picture of what it will look like when it's done. And again, I ordered the high copy through 123 Stitch, but then I went on her website and I downloaded the PDF, which I did put into Patent Keeper. It does take a little tweaking to use, but you're able to get it. One thing I do want to note on this is if you look at the back and it says fabric, 14 count, new. No, you do not want to use 14 count fabric. This pattern has tons, and I mean tons, of fractional stitching. So if you're a 14 count, 28 count person, you want to go with 28 count. I went with my 32 count. We'll see how the beads fit because there's a big clump of beads right up at the head. But if I have to spread them out a little bit more, I will. But again, a lot of fractional stitching. Now, if you don't mind fractional stitching on Ada and piercing the fabric, then go for it. But just be warned now, there is a lot of fractional stitching in this pattern. But this is where I got to. So I was able to backstitch the face, work a little bit on the shawl, get the hand in and backstitch one of the hands. So I think today, I'll probably continue on with this side. I want to go down into the dress, but I think I'll get all that white stitching done. That way, when I pick this up again, I'll just have all the fun stitching to go. And of course, all these holes are where beads are going. But really excited with how this is coming. But yeah, even like in the dress, there's all kinds of fractional stitching and up in the face area. But it's worth it for the outcome. Just I would not have wanted to do this on either. 
So this is where we're at. And then I will be back tomorrow to show you my final look of where I got to on Winter Queen. And then I will be done with Fancy Lady February for this year. And then next week we'll record our normal update. So we'll see um, how much we got accomplished. Until tomorrow. Bye. And we have reached the end of Fancy Lady February. It is Friday night now. I typically film my ending on Saturday morning. However, we have yet another big storm coming in. So I am getting ready to pack up again, head up to my aunt's house so that I can spend the night there so that I can get to work safely in the morning. And I am done with stitching for the night. I'll probably bring a book with me because it's, it's pretty late at the moment and I won't have much time to do anything else other than read a little bit and then go to sleep. So where did I get to at the end of Fancy Lady February for this week from my Shannon Christine design, Winter Queen. And I worked on the shawl some more. So I worked on this side right here. So this is where I ended. Again, the fabric is Winter Mix by Be Stitch Me, 32 Count Lagana. And this is it. This is where we ended. So I had a lot of fun this month doing Fancy Lady February with you all. I hope you liked it. Let me know down below if you enjoyed it, um, if you're interested in it again next year. However, if I do it again next year, it will not be five new projects. Five new projects in one month is a little much for me, but I might do, I think they called it the Blimey Cat Method, where if I haven't finished one of these, I'll work on one of these again, and maybe you can see some of the dress stitching because we did all faces this year. And if I finish one, then maybe I'll start a new one next year. And we'll see if we can get Anna to start another new one and see if she finishes that up. Because it was fun to watch her work all month on one project. And if you're wondering if she finished hers this month, stay tuned. Because right after me, Anna's going to show her progress for this final week of Fancy Lady February as well. And we will see you next week for our regular update. Until then, happy stitching and thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hi everyone, it's Anna. Here I am for the final week of Fancy Lady February. This is week five and the last week of this adventure that I've participated in with Don Marie. And I have worked on the same project all month. So I have this final week and I'm really, really hoping that I can finish it. So we'll see. But as you all know, it is Raven by Nora Corbett. And you can see that's what she will look like when she's done. And I would say I'm very, very close. So I'm stitching on 28 count Mirage Lugana by Picture This Plus. And here is where I'm at. This is the same spot I left off at on Friday last week. So I just wanted to share my starting point for week five. I've got the rest of this ribbon portion of the gown here to stitch and the beading on the lower portion of the gown and a little bit at the top. So I think if uh, the stars align and all goes well with my other plans, I should have time to complete her. I would really like to do that. So this is where I'm starting. So I'm gonna stitch on her tonight and report back tomorrow and show you what I accomplished. See you in just a bit. Hey everyone, it's Anna. Today is Tuesday, February 27th. And I'm here to show you the progress that I made last night on my Fancy Lady, which is Raven by Nora Corbett. I'm stitching her on 28 count Mirage Lugana by Picture This Plus. And this is where I'm at. And it probably looks like I didn't do anything. So let me come in a bit closer because what I worked on was beading. All of the beading at the top here is now done. This section is done and I've begun beading the gown. So that is where I was working last night. So 
So I've got a considerable amount of beading left to do and still some stitching here. The beads that I worked with were Mill Hill bead number 02056. This is the color. It's almost uh, like a burgundy, like a deep red, a brick red. I was surprised that this was uh, the color of the beads that's going into the gown. The cover photo on the pattern doesn't really look like that, but we all know that these photos probably um, aren't very good or very good representation. So, um, so this is what I did. So I'm gonna continue working on her. I think I'm gonna take a break from the beading possibly and do some stitching, I'm not sure. So, but I think that I will probably be able to complete her this week. So I'll check back with you in just a bit. Hey everyone, it's Anna. Today is Wednesday, March 1st. I'm here to show you the progress that I made last night for my Tuesday night stitching on my Fancy Lady. Raven by Nora Corbett is what I'm stitching on. And I'm doing it on 28 count Mirage Ghana by Picture This Plus. And here's my progress. So this here is the area that I worked yesterday, right above here. So I'm trying to close in on this ribbon coming off of her gown. And I think I'm making really good progress. So I've got a few more days left to stitch for the week. And I hope to finish this section and bead the rest of the gown. So I think that I'm in pretty good shape. I'm gonna do some more stitching tonight and I'll be back tomorrow to give you another update. See you in just a bit. Hey everyone, it's Anna. Today is Thursday, March 2nd. I'm here for a quick update on my Fancy Lady Stitching. I'm working on Raven by Nora Corbett. You guys, I'm getting so close to a finish. On 28 Count Mirage Lugana by Picture This Plus. Here's where I am at. And I'm gonna come in close to show you. Look at all the beads on her gown. And those were the ones that I had completed earlier on those strands around her arms and neck. So, all the beads are done. This is all I have left to stitch. What do you think? I'm gonna see if I can accomplish that. I might actually even finish a couple days earlier, we'll see. So this is where I'm at, and I will be busy tonight stitching on her, and I'll report tomorrow to see what I was able to accomplish. See you in just a second. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Anna. Today is Friday, March 3rd, and I am here with an update on my fancy lady. And it is going to be my final update, because ta-da! I finished her one day ahead of schedule. So this is Raven by Nora Corbett, stitched on 28 count, Mirage Lugana by Picture This Plus, and she's done, and I love her. I'll come in close so you can see some of the details. We'll start at the top. You can see all her bats and the moon and she's got beautiful beads around her arms and neck. And then continuing down, all of her gown has these other beautiful beads. So, there she is. She's done. I'm really happy that I was able to complete her I liked doing just one fancy lady that works for me, especially with, where this was my first one. So I know it wasn't as exciting for you to see different ones. So I thank you very much for being patient and following my first fancy lady adventure with me. And I also wanna say a big thank you to Helen D because I won all of these materials, the fabric, the pattern, the floss, the beads, on um, a retreat in July of last year that she was the one who sponsored this particular giveaway that I won. So thank you so much, Helen D. Um, I'm very happy that you gave me this, that I won it, and I stitched it up really quick because I was so excited 
and I, I'm just thrilled. So thank you so much. And that's it, everyone. That's it for me on this uh, February challenge for Fancy Lady February. And I look forward to doing it again next year. Take care for now. See you soon.